Gennaro? Yeah, go Okay, folks, uh, good afternoon and a pleasant welcome to a live interview with the legal team of Emmanuel Gonque, who is currently in the facility of the Moroga Central Prison. This is Poon TV, and we have several media institutions here. So, uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Again, welcome to the media. We were rushed at the Moravia Central Prison where we were told that uh, Emmanuel Gonkwe is currently within the facility awaiting you, the legal team, to set up a bond. Can you bring us up to speed? Oh, okay. So, uh, there is one of the lawyers uh, that is representing uh, Mr. Emmanuel Gonkwe. So, Anthony Bakibay and along with Anthony, uh, uh, the fans of World War, Dauda, the other lawyers, they are doing some work right now uh, in an attempt to secure uh, the, the temporary release of our client. He is completely innocent. Uh, his rights have been violated today uh, at the, the Moravia Central Prison, I mean, not Central Prison, at the Moravia City Court. Um, our client informed us that he was arrested. Uh, he has not been afforded and a due process, whether it's a considerable due process, or whether it's a substantive due process. He was not accorded due process. He was not actually uh, given his constitutional right uh, based on the charges against him. Uh, and upon the arrest, uh, he sat for like an hour, 30 minutes or so, when the lawyers began to have interaction with him. Uh, he was whistled fast from the court, and I understand that he started for real. Okay, so tell us, uh, about this one hour ultimatum that was given to you lawyers. Can you confirm that the court told you to secure a, a bond for Emmanuel within one hour? Well, I'm, I'm unable to comment on that. I'm, I'm not aware if the lawyers uh, uh, can comment on such a uh, the, the allegation against uh, Mr. Bongo is they are, they are available. Uh, uh, they are uh, Allegations of terroristic threat, uh, simple assault, and disorderly conduct. Uh, those are they are available. They are lesser offenses uh, or allegations for which an uh, individual needs to, to be set free. Currently, we are working on uh, a number of bonds uh, that includes the personal uh, rec uh, recognition of this uh, bond. Right? You know, he is the chairman and the CRC. Uh, and the Labyrinth citizen are uh, well known. Uh, and he has got property, he has got family. Uh, and given the kind of work he do, he should actually be set uh, temporarily free uh, based on his personal appearance. Uh, solid, uh, we did not actually get that. He can also be set free uh, based on his property. Uh, if he has property valuation, uh, it can be offered uh, by him or by a family member. He's going to be set free. He also use money, uh, cash bond, to actually secure a release. Uh, and so, the legal team here, you see that we've been working, we're trying to find uh, the best and the most reasonable option to ensure that Mr. Bongo is going to be released on bond. So how soon, how soon is that project now that he's currently in prison, and you, the legal team, should be playing that role to ensure that he's actually released? Would that be possible to do? That's what I'm hoping. I, I hope the lawyers uh, will be able to do as fast as they can. He and I, we have a different assignment right now, and we are doing that. Two of the lawyers, they, they, they are doing other work, uh, and one of the lawyers is also doing other work. So there are six lawyers that are doing work for him now. We are hoping that we'll be able to secure this release as fast as possible. Because he's an innocent man, he's done nothing. Uh, he has been advocating for, for justice in his country, he's been advocating for corruption, you know. The corruption allegation is going against everywhere. We all know that there's corruption in the electric like, branch of government. You understand the situation, the guys with dish of money, like 30,000 to themselves, uh, and, and they have not provided any of the we have been uh, I will hope that uh, the GAC, uh, that the GAC will actually have the power, uh, that they, will, they will have the power, the will this time, uh, to audit each and all of the lawmakers that receive money, the Labrimpo money, so that we account for it. We are providing for on uh, the, the, the budget law in this country. Now, whenever you receive money, you should account for that money. And that money received was meant for two reasons. Uh, you know that you have a frequent uh, interaction with the uh, We hope they are going to do that. And if they do not do that, they should be here accountable. And, and, and being accountable, it means they should even face the word of the law if they wrongly use that money. So, so you are a lawyer. Um, the action, the alleged action 
of uh, Mr. Kunto, a lesbian black woman who is a from the legislature. Mr. Kunto is an adult, uh, they are members of the Economic Freedom Factor. Uh, and their job is to ensure they complement the government effort, uh, advocating uh, against all societies such as uh, folks, uh, folks in the legislature taking money onto themselves that they have done. Uh, they may be some may watch me, some may actually like me for this because I hope they are going to be accountable. On this one, on the one thing, the territory that they talk, they must actually be accountable for that. They should open their books so that the GNC will be able to order all of that. If you multiply 30,000 by the number of legislators, you know what you are talking about, that's in the million. And so that is not a small money that anyone should get allowed to fly, you know. So Gongwa and others have been advocating against that. Uh, the thing that uh, those who actually uh, use that money, they should be accountable uh, for the money. Because indeed, it is a misuse of public money by allotting money to the computer interest there. The legislature put in the budget that they have physical money, aside from what we know, the 15,000 and, and other immunity that they actually have there, but they have physical money that is not part of the salary. And it's not the legislative function to receive that amount of money. The first thing is illegal. But, but you find a lot of illegal things happening today. There are so many illegal things happening today. The other day, the legislature were asked in order to provide a to the president and pick the unconstitutional. The rent were doing that, and they got paid for that. Uh, uh, that's what the, the, the scholars are saying. Uh, most of the scholars are saying, the money that was given to the folks were meant for a number of things. One was to actually prevent uh, the passage or the drafting or any conversation around accountability that, that got to do with the war and economic crimes code. And so they got a huge sum of money. Uh, it is believed that they will get some more money because there is a lot of pressure from Liberian people in the constituency and saying, look, you need to be able to establish a war crime. Liberian people need that now. So they will put some more money in there. Uh, don't, don't, don't be surprised if they are going to put more tasks in there for each of them because the guys are belly driven. The guys are wicked, they are extremely corrupt, they are doing that in order to enrich themselves. But again, you must be responsible. If you let the people that bought best or rights for you, or people who say they will give you scholarship, who say they will pay your roles, of course, you are doing exactly what you actually let them for. But the law does not actually do that as a legitimate reason for which one should be a lawmaker. So the better driven lawmakers who are in the business of getting a massive wealth under themselves, they should not find time to actually appeal to Labyrinth people for much by accounting for the money that they receive. Each and every one of them should do that. Okay, counsel, earlier you said Mr. Gonkwe was not, that is his rights were violated, meaning he, he did not go through everything. Uh, who are you suspecting that is politically, or do you think that it is being politically manipulated? Because oh, you're saying he was not served the full rights. But look, when you, when you hear crime, all right, that is provided for in our penal law, it's political. It's not the government that can actually have you arrested or investigation. And that's a political question that I've got to answer. Do we do that or we don't do that? All right? You know, there are a number of allegations that will actually occur uh, when it's on the other side. You know, the country is divided into two. You to understand that is divided into two. Those who are in power, the, the, the country is our time. And those who are actually not in power, who are the struggling mass, two group of people. If you find people, there are allegations against them who are considered to be uh, not our time. Those folks are going to be taken uh, for investigation. So it happens all the time. This is a political question, and, and, and it's, it's political. Every crime is a political question that the government has got to answer. Yeah, they decided to say uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Gongwa has been alleged to have committed a crime. Gongwa has done nothing. Uh, Gongwa is a free man. He has been agitating. We all know his track record. He has always been projecting and promoting uh, equality and the fairness in this country, supporting the full uh, contours of our justice system, equality before the Lord, equal distribution of our, our resources, folks who violate that should be penalized. And Bongo has been doing that, and you can all attest to that. So today, Bongo didn't need to go to jail. Uh, he could have been released on his personal recognition because he's not going to run. That means a Liberian. So uh, if you are not successful to get uh, the prescribed bond to have Gongwe free. Uh, how long you think he's going to spend there? Or uh, what's the possibility of you getting what the court needs? Oh no, that is a matter that has got to be determined by the judge. There is a judge who determine how long Gongwe is going to stay there. As I told you, they are six lawyers and they are doing different things. Uh, we are going to enter our court and the judge will determine how long 
Congress uh, state. Now, the most powerful man in the political situation is the judiciary. All right. So the judiciary can actually serve as a check. And if the judge, who is a judge, that judge, a magistrate, is a uh, performing a judicial function, but he is an employee of the executive branch of government. Uh, but whilst he performing a judicial function, he has got to operate within the, the ethics of, of the court. All right, so the judge will determine how long he stayed there. We are working on the necessary bond, uh, as I told you, and the, the legal team, they are actually doing all they can to ensure that it's released as far as, as, as possible to protect his constitutional right. Okay, okay quickly, so someone, someone maybe want a wish to watch in this lab and want to know exactly as to where are we with this matter. It is that you guys have started looking into what is being called at the level of the, the, the to the court or whether uh, is the issue about just spending uh, uh, days behind by is what you guys are, are currently going to know. What the matter in terms of trial has not begun. Uh, what we have is that there was an arrest, a uh, real arrest for issue. Uh, and our client, Mr. Gongwa, and others, the rights are being violated. They did not have the opportunity to answer to the constitutional question whether or not they, they were guilty or not guilty, and they were guilty of court. That is a, a blatant violation of their constitution. Anyone who is arrested should be told the allegation against him, and he should have the opportunity to say whether or not he did that. Gongwa and others did not have that opportunity to, to please the red. But instead, they were incarcerated. Even though they are very prominent uh, 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 liberal citizens and, and so their rights being violated. But what we are doing now is to ensure that uh, the appropriate bond will be secured as a matter of right as far as, as possible. Councillor Kanga, we saw you going into serious confrontation with the SGA. Why exactly were you confronted to be on? Well, I'm not uh, in any confrontation with the SGA. You saw that the SG were in court. Uh, it's a theater that a lawyer goes into, and so you present your argument, right? And so I, I had gone there present my argument on behalf of my client, completely innocent, and uh, the 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 uh, solicitor general, uh, who, who was uh, uh, also in, in court, was was presenting the government side of the argument. So that was not a confrontation. Uh, I have nothing personal here, my argument said. So he presented the side of the government. Right, uh, and, and he has a right to do that. Uh, and I have the right to present the side of my client. We are completely innocent, right? Uh, but and, and so that's what happened. Uh, there was no competition today. Uh, I'm sure that you may want to talk to the SG. He respects my view. Uh, uh, he is a lawyer. When he's there, he's not an SG. He's a male lawyer. He has nothing, no power in our court. He just being a male lawyer. And so you saw we have not competition. It was a consultation. I mean, uh, not confrontation per se, but we're actually supporting the defense of each of us. Okay, finally, before we go, uh, what's the the uh, total amount of this bond we're talking about, in terms of cash, what's the total amount? Well, uh, it, it, the, the bond requirement is provided for by law. Uh, and under our, our law, when the judge has set a bond, they actually go for the maximum. Uh, assuming there is a crime there that would say you go to jail for two years. Uh, in order to do that, to measure the bond amount for that is to, I want to multiply to the $5 per month uh, for the time, and then you set the bond amount. But, uh, that is a maximum, but again, it's a judge that actually has the discretion to, to, uh, to uh, that's the power the judge has. But, so, uh, is there a criminal bond? I, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming uh, to that question, right? Uh, since the law, the lawyers uh, have the right, but now you are on the field to get this, were you told the amount you need to get to have Emmanuel Gonquai out? That is what we want to know, the picture of the total amount. Uh, um, what I've told you is that the bond amount is provided for by law, uh, and that amount can be challenged. That amount uh, can be can be uh, used as is. Of course, the Constitution provides that there should not be excessive bond required, so the court has that discretion. So now you don't know how much you need. Right now, it's not a matter of needing money. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Mr. Gongwe has the options, all right, available to him. He can be released on his personal recognition. I mean, there's no money involved. He can be released based on uh, the fact that he has property. In our instance, they're going to be the amount of the property that actually has. So, they have flexibility in here, but the judge is the one that actually will decide uh, what we have. Yeah, so we stay here. We want to get something clear. I'm still a bit confused about this uh, bond. So, what do you need as a bond to have Gonkwe out now? Since we cannot get the amount, and you say he can be free based on his uh, personal status or properties. What is it you're really looking for to free him today? 
Uh, today, the, the, the legal thing they are working on a number of options. Uh, they are trying to, to ensure that if you can fit it into the categories, are they going to use a property if you can actually do that? A personal uh, recognition, or whether you can use a cash uh, to deposit some money in the government covers, or you can secure an insurance bond. Those options are being actually worked on now by lawyers. There are six lawyers, and they are all involved at different stages right now. I'm going back to the court to have a conversation with the judge in terms of uh, the, the, the call of a bond uh, that would be preferable. So I can safely say it's a insurance bond that you want to do. Well, the call of a bond is only determined uh, based on the conversation that we are now having with uh, folks on the legal team. What is the measures before you get a legal One message always is I follow the rules. Uh, do not violate any of our laws. Tell your lawmakers to drive well, they are got to actually do that. If you have a car, can you drive well? Do not pay bribe to anyone, pay bribe your harm in this country. Think differently, positive about the country to do that is that do the right thing. Wear your nose mask, as I told you, and nose mask right there in my car. Sure, when you got to wear the nose mask. What about health protocol? We, we look, so let's do that. Pay your taxes to government. If you, are, if you got to do that, do not be like them. Uh, there are a number of guys who are in government today to pay no taxes. Uh, they think they are going to go scot free, but prosperity is going to judge them that they have the responsibility to have the country develop by paying the taxes. Pay your taxes wherever you are, comply with the rules of the land, and that is the way to get a country going. Anything outside that rule is going to create chaos. That's the chaos situation that you saw that uh, Mr. Dillon was not giving me a job only because we're not a member of the CDC. That is a blatant violation by our constitution. You need to tell the people in the CDC to stop that. They need to apologize to La Brempo, apologize to Mr. Dillon. They don't should actually occupy that job because the constitution provides that people should be appointed based on the professional competence and not based on any partisan relationship. Okay. We've got to stop that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Okay. Okay, folks, you just listen to the lawyer. Uh, uh, that is the legal team of Emmanuel Gonkwa. So we're trying to at least talk to the government's representative, if possible. We hope to talk to the government's representative, that's the Solicitor General of the Republic of Liberia. If possible, we will be. If not, we'll see you till we get another update. So have yourself a good time till we meet again. James, good day from you.